Hello friends and welcome back to Restaurant Recipe Recreations. If this is your first time joining us, then welcome and now you and I are friends. This channel is dedicated to teaching you how to create your favorite signature dishes and recipes from the most popular restaurants. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to recreate the classic minestrone soup from the Olive Garden restaurant, which has been on their menu the day that the Olive Garden opened their doors almost 40 years ago in 1982 which of course has been made popular by the restaurant's promotion of the endless bowl of soup, salad, and their killer breadsticks. The Olive Garden's classic minestrone soup is a very easy one-pot vegan minestrone soup made with fresh vegetables, canned beans, vegetable broth, and tiny shell pasta, and it really is hearty enough to eat for a meal. Pair this soup up with the endless bowl of Olive Garden house salad, their killer breadsticks, and you have Olive Garden on your table tonight. So let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, I would like to ask that if you're enjoying this channel, if you find this channel fun, informative, but most importantly, if I'm bringing you value by teaching you how to recreate your favorite signature dishes and recipes from the most popular restaurants, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me if you haven't already. And if you have already, then thank you very much. I enjoy the time that I spend with you and I hope that you enjoyed the time that you spend with me. And if you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up and write a comment in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and get started with the Olive Garden's classic minestrone soup. So start by getting yourself a very large pot, one that's large enough to hold about six cups of liquid. I love this pot. I use it for everything. You've probably seen it in a majority of my videos because it's just that awesome. I love this pot. So get yourself a nice big pot and let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is start by sauteing and sweating down our fresh vegetables. I have here three quarters of a cup of fresh diced celery. I have here three quarters of a cup of fresh and quartered carrot. I have here three quarters of a cup of fresh quartered zucchini and one cup of diced yellow onion. So let's start by getting your sauce pot on a medium high heat and then just drizzle the bottom of the pot with about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now add three quarters of a cup of your diced celery. Now add three quarters of a cup of your diced carrot. The three quarters of a cup of your fresh and quartered zucchini. And one cup of diced yellow onion. And now I have two large garlic clove and I'm going to go ahead and grate that into this mixture. You can use a garlic press if you prefer to use that. I happen to like to grate my garlic. You're not looking to brown or caramelize any of these vegetables. You really just want them to get softened. And now to the mixture, add two tablespoons of tomato paste. And now just stir the tomato paste around in your vegetable mixture. Once the vegetables have softened and the onions have become translucent, add four cups of vegetable broth. Now add one can of diced tomato, juice and all. Next, you want to add one cup of frozen cut green beans. Now, I don't normally use frozen vegetable in anything that I cook, but in this soup, you really do need the frozen green beans. The reason being is that, first of all, that's what they use at the Olive Garden. And second of all, the texture of frozen green beans is really what you're looking for in this soup. Next, add two cups of fresh baby spinach. And you'll see how this baby spinach really quickly cooks down in this soup. Spinach and mushrooms are mostly water, which is why when you start out, you feel like you have all the spinach and then it starts to cook and it looks like you have nothing left. Now we're going to add two teaspoons of Good Seasons Italian seasoning. Just slowly simmer the soup until all of the vegetables have had a chance to soften up and the spinach has cooked down a little bit. Okay, I gave this a taste and I want to add two pinches of kosher salt and some cracked black pepper. All right, this soup is already delicious and almost ready to go, so we're gonna finish it with the beans and the pasta, and it's ready to serve. When it comes to this soup, I want to add the beans and the pasta at the very end because I don't want them to get mushy. So here is your cannellini beans that have been rinsed and drained, and now the dark red kidney beans that have also been rinsed and drained. And now the last thing that we need to add to this soup is two cups of the miniature shell pasta. This pasta has already been cooked. I do not put uncooked pasta into my soups. I par cook the pasta in its own salted water. And the reason for that is because it keeps the pasta from getting mushy 
and absorbing all of the liquid from the soup. So I cook the pasta in its own salted water according to al dente directions. Just give this soup enough time to simmer to heat the beans and the pasta all the way through and then it's ready to serve. And you can see how hearty and rich and gorgeous this is. Okay, my friends, I mean, seriously, how easy was that? I think the active time was maybe only about eight to 10 minutes. It's one pot, very little mess. And because it's got pasta and it's loaded with beans and vegetables, it's definitely hearty enough for a dinner. In fact, my family is going to have this tonight for dinner. And I'm also going to make the Olive Garden house salad and we've got breadsticks. And so I'm having Olive Garden tonight at 6647 and I don't have to use Uber Eats. I'm gonna sprinkle mine with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and I know that that means that it's no longer vegan, but I'm not vegan personally, and you know, cause cheese, right? I hope that you enjoyed this episode, everybody. I hope that you enjoy all of my episodes. Feel free to hit that notification bell, and that way you'll be notified of all of my upcoming popular restaurant recipes. But until I see you all again, everybody, make it an awesome, awesome day. Cheers, I love y'all. It's delicious. It was absolutely delicious.